Good work up there. People are lining up to help fight. Seeing our flag again really got people mobilized. The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. To get near the police station, you'll have to destroy a sniper's nest on the gas station. Follow me, Chris. I'll take you to the safe house. This is only a temporary base. We're using it as a staging place for this mission. Let's plan our next move. Like it or not, you have a new profession now, Freedom Fighter. Here we have an overview of the enemy compound. You can see them unloading equipment. They're using this post office as a temporary command center and planning further advances into the city from here. It would really set them back if we recaptured this area. You won't be alone. Ever since you proved yourself by rescuing me, people are starting to believe in you. I'll let you lead two of my best men into action. We're rolling! Let's move! Yeah, this mean... way! Yeah! Lock and load! As long as they are recruited, these guys will follow you wherever you go. Just like bodyguards. Now go fight! Good luck. Abort! Regroup! Roger. Remember, you are the leader. You can issue your men commands. Wipe Order them, them to attack them. The your men will fight every enemy in the direction. This is an important vantage point. Gives you an overview of the battlefield, useful for strategic maneuvers. From here, you can command your troops and cover them at the same time. Defend! I'll be here. Send your ground! Great. You're a true leader. Defend oh, sometimes here. it's important Defend to know when to fall area. back. Holding position. Here, fall back. Falling in. Remember to check the map once in a while. A 
Board, fall back. <laughs> Defend. Oh, order, sir. Position. Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. In today's headlines, a downtown precinct was attacked by rebels earlier today. The attackers freed several rebel detainees. There are reports of many casualties. Several witnesses confirm that the raid was carried out by a small group of armed rebels, headed by an individual who authorities believe to be the new leader of the resistance. Isabella Angeline, seen in these pictures, is an important member of the underground resistance movement, and the operation looked like a carefully planned and executed rescue attempt. The group was led by a shadowy figure as yet unidentified, but believed to be a male Caucasian in his early 30s. Earlier today, I interviewed our leader, General Tatarin, on the situation. This sort of action against the Soviet Liberation Army will not be tolerated. And such attacks only increase tension here. However, I assure you that this was an isolated event and we have restored peace and stability. That was General Tatarin earlier today. On the phone now from Governor's Island is Comrade Colonel Boba, head of KGB. Comrade Kempinski, these people are not rebels from proletariat. This freedom phantom is vigilante, a terrorist. But they are few and will be executed both. After a trial, of course. And on this reassuring note, let's look at the forecast. What's in store for us on that?
Chris. For three months, the Soviets have been pouring soldiers and equipment into the city. We have to plan every move very carefully. The people need to see that there is hope. If we stumble now, that'll be lost. Yeah, man. The Reds are everywhere, and they brought plenty of toys. Yesterday, our boys tried to blow a bridge on their supply route. Only today, red trucks are rolling back and forth like nothing happened. I tell you, if I demoed that bridge, there'd be nothing left to put back together. Instead, they got more soldiers than ever sitting on it. Yo, give me some TNT, and I'll blow that baby. Or die trying. Hang on, let's get real. Uh, that bridge is important, but we really need to capture the command center, too. The Soviets deploy their troops from the old fire station. We need to take control back. Hey, 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 don't expect to crash their party and say, hasta la vista to everyone in a red beret. They got snipers and choppers up there. This ain't no kitty park. Chris, before you go, Troy wants a word with you. Be careful up there. Remember, retreat to the sewers if things get too hot. I'll be waiting for you. Capture the old fire station. Soviet reinforcements in this section are coordinated from here. Then destroy the remaining bridge. It makes an important supply route for the Soviets. Take it out, and the influx of troops to surrounding areas will greatly diminish. Take control of the old hotel. The Soviets have established a base of operations inside. We have seen Soviet soldiers storing ammunition in an abandoned diner. You can stock up on explosives here. There's a POW camp in the area. Release the prisoners and lead them to the sewers. Seize the warehouse buildings. This is where the Soviets store their small arms and artillery that they unload from the ships. Taking these buildings will greatly reduce enemy firepower. Blow up the helicopter fueling station here as well. This will ground the Soviet chopper fleet. 